Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Fall 2020 Malat Innovation Awards. My name is Greg Jensen. I am the Director of Senior Design here at Purdue Mechanical Engineering. We are here today to recognize our graduating seniors as they complete the final capstone project of their undergraduate career. As part of the ME 463 Senior Design class, students team up to create a prototype project or process. This is where they put into practice all of the knowledge they've gained from their engineering career over the last four years. At the end of the semester, the students present their final prototypes to a panel of Purdue ME alum who work in various industries, and this panel selects the award-winning teams. Of course, in 2020, we have been forced to do things a little differently. We have had restrictions on meeting in person, and admittedly, walking through the halls of the ME building this semester is a bit eerie. Still, these students persevered. Some of them were able to work on their projects in person while socially distancing. Others completed their project entirely remotely, some of them in multiple time zones and even in multiple countries. In the midst of these trying circumstances, they have produced some really amazing senior design projects. And today we recognize those that have been chosen as most innovative. We call these the Malat Innovation Awards because they are sponsored by an endowment created by Thomas J. Malat, who graduated from Purdue ME in 1962 and received an honorary doctorate in 2002. He has been involved in one way or another with every senior design class since then, and we'll hear what he has to say about this year's class at the end of the ceremony. This fall semester, we have had 15 total projects, most of them created by teams of four to six students. After working for 15 weeks, each team recorded a narrated presentation about their project and prototype. Next, alumni judges working in industry reviewed and ranked these presentations based on innovation, technical excellence, value and usability, challenge, and professional quality. The judges themselves wanted to comment on the winning projects, and I'm happy to give them the floor now. First, we have a special engineering award given to a team whose engineering processes really stood out from the others. To present this award is one of our judges, Mary Helmick. Mary got her BS ME from Purdue in 1986 and recently retired after 30 years in management at Texas Instruments. Take it away, Mary. This team's engineering work really stood out to the judges for their excellent simulation and um, research that was put into the rotating wind tunnel. So a special engineering award goes to Fluids in Motion. Congratulations, Fluids in Motion. This group tackled a research issue in fluid dynamics. How do you create repeatable results from a wind tunnel while also applying centrifugal force. They created a prototype of a closed loop wind tunnel with a rotatable test section so that future researchers can study the interactions between Coriolis force and centrifugal force. Congratulations for receiving this distinguished engineering award. Next up, third place in our Innovation Awards. To present this award is one of our judges, Kimberly Dinkins Blue. 
After receiving her BS ME from Purdue in 1992, Kim went on to law school and eventually became a intellectual property attorney in Texas. And now here's Kim. This team addressed a safety issue and presented a novel solution to a problem that has caused some people their lives. The third place award goes to Pump the Brakes. Congratulations, team. These students worked on a project for manufacturer TRP International concerning the braking systems used on trailers. Rather than traditional hydraulic brakes, their solution is an electric disc brake that turns rotational motion into linear motion by using a power screw to move a piston into the brake pads, which is both cheaper and more reliable than current systems. Congratulations to team Pump the Brakes. Now on to our second place Innovation Award winners. Let's hear from our next judge, John Biasi. John got his master's from Purdue Mechanical Engineering in 1987 and went on to a varied career in automotives, LED lighting, and wireless mesh networking. He now works with Dean Kamen at DECA Research, where he was instrumental in bringing the Coca-Cola freestyle machine to market. Here's John with our second place winners. This team showed that innovation doesn't need to be complex. It can be simple and, sh and solve a problem clearly and elegantly. The winner of the second place prize is Oleum. Congratulations to the Oleum team. They created a simple device designed to oil the chains of a bicycle in less than 10 seconds without any spillage. Their simple device also has the potential to be used on any machine that has chains and sprockets, which gives it greater market potential. Congratulations to Team Oleum. And now it's time to announce our first place team in this year's Malat Innovation Awards. Here with the winners is one of our judges, Robin Brands. After her BS ME at Purdue in 1987, she has worked at GE Aviation for more than 30 years, now managing the GP7200 engine, which is used on the Airbus A380. Take it away, Robin. This team did a fantastic job. They solved a real world problem that is near and dear to my heart. They made the world a more inclusive place, solving something that means so much to people on the fringes who maybe normally couldn't participate. Um, I thought they did a fantastic job, not only technically, but with the uh, commercial aspect of the problem. And they did this across several time zones in several regions in the cloud, working the way I do in my job every day. And the winner of the first place award is All World Stage. Congratulations to our winners. This team created a wheelchair that is specifically designed to be used in the performing arts. It has omnidirectional wheels and a small footprint, so it is easily maneuverable on stage. It also has a built-in scissor lift, so wheelchair dancers can perform at different heights, and built-in attachment points for costumes and props. For this, the All Worlds stage team receives first place in the Malat Innovation Awards. Congratulations to them and to all the seniors who have worked so hard on their capstone projects. We see your hard work 
and we applaud the effort you put into your final class here at Purdue. Now, our final word comes from Tom Malott, the name behind the Malott Innovation Awards. Tom is the former president and CEO of Siemens Energy and Automation. He graduated from Purdue ME in 1962 and received an honorary doctorate in 2002. Let's hear what Tom has to say about this year's class. Well, first of all, I'd like to say uh, we've had another successful uh, innovation award program for this year and under very difficult circumstances. And I'd sincerely like to thank the faculty and students for uh, successfully completing uh, probably the most complex course in ME during a very difficult time. Uh, it showed great amount of skill and flexibility, I think, both on the part of the faculty and the students. Um, the presentations were all very well done, and I'm sure uh, much more time was uh, expended by the students than the few credit hours that ME gives for your hard work. Uh, the uh, course is conceived to give all of you an experience that is as close as possible within the complexity of a university to what your real uh, work life is likely going to be uh, when you get out uh, into the uh, work society that you'll live in for quite a number of the years of your life. Uh, we we're hoping uh, again that uh, what you get out of this is more than just the engineering, but it's to learn how uh, to work in teams to solve problems, to define uh, a problem rather than having somebody hand you the problem and to figure out uh, a way to present your ideas in such a way that other people, particularly non-technical people, uh, can buy into your thought process. Uh, you're leaving one of the finest universities uh, in the world in regard to technical training, and believe me, from my own experience, uh, you are leaving with a toolbox full of, of uh, technical abilities in both analysis and conception of problem solving that few people will have. You're going to find that your world uh, and your ability to get things done is not going to be limited by your knowledge from Purdue. It's going to be limited by your ability to work with uh, people from different backgrounds and different cultures. And uh, I would encourage all of the students, uh, if you have to do this on your own, please take time to put down the technical books and take your time to study human nature and the way decisions and values impact decision making. Also, many of you are going to find yourself uh, working in multicultural environments. Even in these uh, presentations today, you saw people from many parts of the world working together. And what you have to really understand is that if you're working with people like that, you need to spend the time to understand their history and their value set because decisions are finally made around value sets, not equations. And so I would hope that again, uh, you will take the time to uh, learn about people and to learn about values 
that uh, impact decision making. So congratulations to all of you for such a great time at Purdue. I think you'll always look back on that time with uh, great pride and uh, you'll learn out in the field that uh, it's a pretty high level of education you've gotten from good old Purdue University. Good luck. Thank you, Tom. I also want to take this opportunity to thank Tom's daughter and son-in-law, Jennifer and Ken Catillo, for sitting in on the judging and helping to guide this process every year. I also want to thank another one of our judges, David Sawin, who helped us to choose our winners. And finally, I want to thank all of you for sticking with us in this unusual semester. We know that online offerings can't match the excitement of in-person classes, work sessions, and poster shows. But no matter how the projects came together, the innovation that our students have undertaken are just as impressive. Congratulations to all of our graduating seniors. You have worked so hard in such unusual circumstances. And what's important to remember is that you've made it. You've achieved your goal in completing a Purdue degree and we couldn't be more proud of you. Happy holidays to all of you and Boiler up.